Good morning, Skyridge. I'm Alea. And I'm Colleen. Welcome to SNN. Today is Tuesday, February 12th, 2013. It's a sky day, which means our periods 1, 3, and 5. Planner pursuit time. We haven't had one of those in a long time. Yeah, it has been a long time, but we yeah. thought it might be fun. This might be a little random, but here's the question. What did the ancient Romans use as toothpicks? Hint, planner this week. Call 78293. Happy birthday to Abraham Lincoln. Today is actually his birthday. He was the 16th president of the United States from March 4, 1861 to April 15, 1865. His presidency encompassed the tragic Civil War. Things which are especially remembered about his presidency are his Emancipation, Emancipation Proclamation given on January 1, 1863. Of course, his Gettysburg Address on November 19, 1863. And one more, his proclamation establishing the last Thursday of November as Thanksgiving Day. Bet you didn't see that one coming. Born in Harding County, Kentucky. He died in Washington, D.C., April 15, 1865. Sadly, he was the first president to be assassinated. There's a movie about Lincoln which has been nominated for several Academy Awards. The actor Daniel Day-Lewis, who portrayed him may have been born for the role. Yeah, get this, <coughs> an interview with director Steven Spielberg, he said that the actor had many of Abraham Lincoln's physical features. When he showed up on the Lincoln set, that was his hair, beard, and he had a very light, and he had very light makeup on his face. We added the mole, of course. Didn't he have to wear lifts in his shoes to make himself uh, the, as tall as Lincoln? Nope, his, <laughs> no lifts required. Day Lewis is close to Lincoln's six foot four height and the stature was even more impressive in 1865. But what about the scene where Day-Lewis seems, uh, seems to dwarf a horse? That's just him. No camera tricks. That's Day-Lewis's long, lanky legs. <laughs> <laughs> I think if Abe Lincoln were around, he'd want you to sign up and help with the CEF phone-a-thon. Really? Okay, sure. Sign-ups are going on <coughs> right now until the 14th, which is Thursday, by the way. Love helping out? Well, sign up. There are clipboards in the student center, main office, Ms. Hoffman's room, in the LMC for you to sign up. The phone-a-thon takes place on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That's the 26th, the 27th, and the 28th. By the way, the 27th and 28th are late starts, and you could have a late night because you can sleep in. So get on it and do your part. Sign up with a few friends. It's a great time with lots of free food. You get to talk on the phone and help raise money for Camus Educational Foundation, CEF, which helps us provide us with lots of amazing educational experiences. <laughs> Sign up on one of the clipboards now and make the commitment. Doodle time! The theme for this year's Doodle for Google is My Best Day Ever. Again, take the theme and make art out of it. Dazzle the judges and your artwork could appear on Google's homepage. Go to the site www.google.com slash doodle for Google. That's the number four, <laughs> four goodness sakes. <laughs> there are samples from years past, plus you can read more about the theme. The due date is March 17th. Basketball news, the Skyhawks beat Y East 56 to 39. Alex Clickbarg led the scores with 14 points and four three-pointers. Vinny Gennaro had a great defensive game and added 12 points of his own to the victory. How about the girls game? They won 41 to 29 with Lizzie Sheldon scoring 13 points. <laughs> Woo! And Marley LaFort, 8 points, and Claire Green and Nicole Danis, 4 points. Hawktastic success. <laughs> Next game is Thursday at Frontier. Girls play at 345 and boys play at 5. That's Valentine's Day, and they'd love to see us all out there cheering them on to another victory. <laughs> Be sure to check the black hole for any of your stuff. Lost a coat, hat, gloves, water bottle, scarf, backpack, bag, hoodie, whatever. Check the black hole before the end of the week. All unclaimed stuff gets donated at the end of the at the end of each grading period. I think you have until this Thursday, but we'll double check and get back to you tomorrow. Oh, the answer to our question today. It's on page sixty-three. In Roman times, porcupine quills were used as toothpicks. Kind of gross. Who got it? Congratulations. Mm -hmm. To nobody. Nobody. <laughs> nobody got it right. Everybody said. Every, everybody called, <laughs> said sticks. <laughs> no well gummy bears will be delivered today. Maybe <laughs> we'll just have to eat them ourselves. <laughs> That's a good idea. Today's thought from Abraham Lincoln. What 
no I love you language from the wheel? Well, since it's Lincoln's birthday, I thought we should just end with one of his quotes, a bit more respectful than, say, Klingon or Pig Latin. Okay, but tomorrow, Zulu, okay? Sounds like a plan. <laughs> On with today's thought. You have to do your own growing. No matter how tall your grandfather was. Follow the sky code and be safe. Be respectful and be responsible. Remember, <clears throat> no gum. Time to stand for the pledge.